John Ede, president of Argus Research, the S&P 500, closing in on double-digit growth for the first half of 2017. Where do you see stocks going in the second half? Well, Scott, I think we're going to see them move higher into the second half for two or three reasons. I think the economy is going to be picking up from a very slow first quarter. The consumer is strong. I look for exporters to do well. Um, I do think the Federal Reserve is probably going to raise interest rates at least once mm. in the second half. But rates will still be historically low. Uh, earnings, I think, are expected to grow around 10% or so into the second half of the year. So a good economy, good earnings, and relatively low interest rates should be a positive backdrop for stocks. All right, and the, the top performing sectors in the first half have been tech, health, and utilities. The worst performing sectors have been energy and telecom. Do you expect those trends to continue in the second I half? I think you might see some reversion to the mean, Scott, in, in the second half. Uh, technology's done very well. I'm not going to say it's, it's yet in a bubble, but it's moving in that direction. And I think the valuations are becoming a bit stretched. So I could see a bit of a pullback in tech, whereas in energy, uh, it's at a historically low level of the S&P 500. Uh, we look for oil prices to pick up as demand continues to grow. I think that's going to be a driver for energy stock performance in the second half, and that'll be one of the better performing groups. So are there any changes that people should be making to their portfolios as we head into the second half, given all the themes we've just talked about? Well, we're still bullish on stocks compared to, to bonds. Uh, even though stocks are trading at all-time highs, um, interest rates are still near all-time lows. So that valuation equation favors stocks. Um, but we're deep into this, this bull market, Scott. So, and, and it's reasonable to think that we're closer to the end of the bull market than we are to the beginning. So investors may want to start to move to some more defensive areas. And you know, going back to the, the tech stock comment, maybe uh, sell off a bit of some of those winners and invest in something you know, maybe a, a little bit more stable, still in equities, but maybe with some more dividends or dividend growth. Yeah, take some chips off the table for the tech sector. Right. All right, Johnny, thanks so much for coming back with us. Okay, thanks, Scott. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.